Let's make some suyuk or boiled pork. It's my absolute favorite. It's cheap, healthy, and easy to make. Let me show you how I make it. First, we need to pickle some Napa cabbage. Here I'm adding a quarter cup of kosher salt to about two liters or two quarts of water. This is gonna take about four hours at least to pickle, so you can do it the day before or do it in the morning. Now that the salt has dissolved, let's start working on the cabbage. Let's try and separate all the cabbage leaves so we can put them in the brine. Some people find that running the cabbage underwater makes it easier to separate the leaves. Now we're just going to plunk them all in the brine and let them pickle for at least four hours. Just try and make sure they're all submerged and they all fit. I like to weigh mine down with something heavy, like a plate or a bowl. Okay, just set it aside for four hours. Make the Korean radish that goes with this dish while you're waiting. Find this recipe at the top of your screen or on the channel. Let's prepare the mixture for the pork to cook in. Let's start by adding a bunch of garlic. This is about 10 cloves. Then we're gonna add about five or six bay leaves, salt and pepper, about a half a teaspoon of each. Next, cut up a green onion and toss it in your pot. Next, cut up half an onion and toss it in your pot. Next, we're gonna add some soybean paste or tenjang. Add about two heaping tablespoons. Next, add a cup of coffee. Some people like to use a can of beer, but I'm using coffee today. Then add your pork. This cut of pork is pork shoulder. It's really cheap and it was about $7 for two pounds. Now pour in some boiling water just to cover the pork. I do this to jumpstart the cooking process. Now I'm using an Instapot, but you can do this on a stovetop as well. It takes about 20 minutes in the Instapot and about 40 minutes on a stovetop. Now let's prepare the accompaniments for the pork. Let's finely slice up some garlic. This is Chongyan chili pepper. It's really spicy and is completely optional. I like to finely slice up some onion. I think it adds a nice little kick. This next item is really interesting. It's called seojot and it's just baby shrimp in salt. Completely optional and you can just replace this with a teaspoon of salt. Now run your knife through it a couple of times and add some sesame oil. Our delicious pork has finished cooking, so let's cut it up into bite-sized pieces. All right, let's get ready to eat. We have some perilla leaves and some lettuce, and we've rinsed off the water from our brined cabbage. Let's put some of the seasoned radish or musengche that we made earlier in a bowl and then we're pretty much ready to go. Now it's time for the best part, the eating part. Now grab your cabbage and your perilla leaves and load up. Just a quick reminder, Koreans usually eat this in one shot. So make sure you can fit it in your mouth in one shot. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know.